already have your bands on, go ahead and hook yourself up. And we have a fun, I think all of our workouts are fun, cardio-based workout set up for today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the Instagram. All right, we're good to go. Um, if you do not already have your water, please take a nice big sip. Um, and now Wayne is a master of getting his band set up, now that he knows. And we'll go ahead and get going in a moment. So, coming on up to stand, getting everything ready. I know the weather is heating up here in Los Angeles. So wherever you are, hopefully getting the sweat going today for our Thursday workout. We're gonna go nice and hard. And then for usual on Fridays, we're gonna take it a little bit easier with the stretching. So given it all we got today, because we know that we're coming into the home stretch of the hard work. So getting those cycles going. Once we're all hooked up. And then go ahead and we're gonna start with some upward wrist curls. So just give your shoulders a shrug and then pull your arms to the midline of the body, and we're gonna start with upward lift. Up and up, we've got our two 40 second sets. Time is going in three, two, and one. Let me see those upward curls. Mm -hmm. Good. Cycles are pumping, brains are getting ready, bodies are ready. It's Thursday, we're over halfway through the week. Good to see everybody. Okay, continuing to squeeze the elbows into the body, lifting the knuckles up as high as you can, working into those forms. Up and up. Good. Half done. Mm -hmm. Good. We have 10. Maybe looking down, starting to need some veins. Things are working. First six, five, four, three two, and one. Take it out. I got so excited about our workout today. I forgot to toss on my bands at first. <laughs> All right. Second set. Elbows in. We are going. See if you can add some speed here, lifting as fast as possible. Up, 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 up. Contracting the muscles of the forearms to get the tops of the hands as close to the arms as you can. Lift, 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 lift. Yes. Good. Half done. Keep squeezing through the fist. Lift and lift. Good. Fast as you can go. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay, we're coming down to the floor for our triceps. It is a reverse plank march. So I come down to sit. I Press my butt up and off the floor, and you can either march with bent knees, slightly easier, or straight legs, harder. And the whole time we're doing this, we're pressing our arms straight, so our triceps are doing the work to keep us up. Now, if at any point holding yourself up for the full 40 seconds gets to be too hard, you can always tap your butt down, press back up, tap your butt down, press back up. Otherwise, I want to see butts up the whole time. We're marching. Two 40-second sets. Ready, set, let's go. I'm going to go with straight legs for the first one. Up, up. Woo, good. Feel those arms working. And your hips are going to want to stagger onto the floor. Don't let it happen. Keep those arms active. Pull your shoulders back. Yes. Fingertips are pointing down towards those heels. And we're also getting a nice leg stretch here. Our core is working too. Up. And up. And I can't really check the time because my wrist is below me. So I'll just tell you when I feel that buzz and time is up. Woo, see so if you can get your butt up a little bit higher. Yeah, good. Nice. Keep going. I'm guessing we have four. Yep, three, two, and one. Good job. Roll the wrist out. Second set, you've got the idea. We're either doing a lower lift, a march or a straight leg march, depending on whatever level of challenge you're wanting today. Bottoms off the floor, 40 seconds, ready, set, let's go. March, march, mm-hmm. Good, keep pressing your butt up, whatever variation you're in. 
That's how we add weight. And I like to spread my fingers nice and wide so I have a big base to support myself with. Keep going, gang. Nice job, Instagram. Everyone is moving. Last 15 seconds. Good, yeah, good, Bonnie. 10. We're going to take a rest in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give your wrist a roll. Either hop on up to stand or make your way onto your knees for bicep curl. So pulling the elbows in. We're going to keep the arms at roughly a 90 degree angle. Make this. Grab your big imaginary heavy weights. We pull them in, down, in, down. First set. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Time is going. Yes. In, release, in, release. And I never fully let my arms straighten because I want to keep a slight contract from the biceps the whole time. Pull it in and squeeze. Now, you can pick your pace here, maybe starting nice and slowly for the first one, getting used to that motion, and then we're going to go really fast for the second one. Then we're going to hop on up and get our heart rate up already. Yes. Last 10. Wheezing. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's dive right into the second set, this time going for speed. Three, two, one. In, out, in, out. Pump it. Yeah. It's Thursday. We're moving. We're getting stronger. Everyone looks great. In, pump, and pump. Yes. Woo, keep it up. Let me see who we've got on today. Keep going. Half done. Nice. Good. Oh, my goodness. Game flying. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So we're doing two heart rate boost sessions with our armbands on today. Normally we only do one, but it is a cardio centric kind of day. We're getting our heart rate going. So our first move is a sumo squat floor reach. I step my feet wide, I go down, up, down, up. If you're feeling fiery today and you need to add a jump, don't let me stop you. I will be stepping. Second up, we have arm back butt kicks. So I lift my arms up and I kick my butt and squeeze my arms back. Just like so. Okay, you can pick your pace. Last thing, good old fashioned jumping jack. 30 seconds per exercise, starting with the sumo squat, reach in three, two, one, here we go, we go down, up, down, up. Pressing my hips back behind me. I don't care if you touch the floor, but I want you to keep your spine straight. Down, up, down, up, we're moving. Almost like we're making big snow angels with the arms. See if you can get your butt even lower if you need to jump or you want to jump. Now's your time, last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Arms out like wings. Shoulder pulls, butt kicks. We go in, in, pull it back. Woo! Yeah, get some pepping up there. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Get those muscles that control our posture going. Squeeze, squeeze. Now, if your elbows are starting to get floppy, pick them up. Up. Yeah, there we go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping jack, let's go. Good. Get those feet going, get those arms going. Work through it, let's go fast. Half done. Woo, bands are working. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Next exercise, push up to floor push up. I come down into plank position. Totally fine to do this on your knees as well. I come down into a push up. I press up. This time I come all the way down to the floor, lift my hands, 
press up, push up, lift, floor, lift. Okay? Two 40 second sets. I want to see you leading with your chest, your belly button, not your hips. So not this. The body is straight. Push up, down to the floor, lift. We're going in three, two, one. First 40 second set. All right. Nice. So the same posture muscles that we use when we pull our arms back behind us, we're using to lift our hands off the floor and push our bodies right back up. Woo, good guys, have done. I go push up, floor, lift, back up. All right, last 10. Keep going through it. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and come up to sit, give your shoulders a roll. March. So I tuck my toes, I lift up into a bear position. So this one can also be done on the knees if you need a little bit of rest. Otherwise, it's a bear arm march. So I'm in a bear, I reach alternating arms forward. Now notice that the rest of my body does not move, only the arms, reach and reach. If this is just too difficult, you can always drop the knees and do it with them down or do half and half, all right? Tuck those toes, get the knees one inch off the floor. Ready, set, let's go. Reach and reach. Nice. Good, nice straight spine. The hips are naturally gonna wanna shift up and back behind us, but I want you to keep dropping your knees lower and lower the whole time you do this. Yes, that's it. Good. This is first set, we have another one. Last 10. Beautiful, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Give the wrists a bit of a stretch. And then come back onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes, second set, ready, set, go. Reach, reach. Really getting your arms up in line with your ears on that reach. Keep dropping your knees, lower, lower, lower barely hovering off the floor. Yes, we're using our legs, we're using our core, we're using our arms, and those bands are pumping, half done. Woo! As you're doing this, imagine you're pulling your floor or your mat away from you with your toes. So keep pulling it back. Drop your knees even lower, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Next up, our last strength exercise for our upper body. We come into a forearm plank and we take Spider-Man. So yesterday we did Spider-Man push-ups. Today I'm in forearm plank. My hips are lined with my shoulders. I go up, up, tap, tap. And if you can't find contact, squeeze your hips like heck. Get as high as you can. Take it back. Notice my spine does not move. My shoulders are stable, my back is stable. Make your way into forearm plank. Two sets in three, two, one, let's go. And we know this is our last strength exercise of the day, so let's give it our best. Yes. Good, noticing if your hips are starting to pike up, we wanna get the shoulders staying strong, doing the work. Chris is here. Hi, Chris. <laughs> awesome, John. Good, George. Last 10. Keep going. This is it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come on up to stand. Give your shoulders a roll. Woo. All right. 
coming into that cardio boost. First 30 seconds, we have sumo squat and reach. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. You want to add a jump? Let me see you jump. Woo. All right. Mm -hmm. Half done. Going a little bit lower each time. Let's see if we can add some speed. Last nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms up, butt kicks, ready, set, go. In, 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 in. Really pump those elbows back behind you. Get your shoulder muscles working. Back, back, yes. Wee. Up, up, even faster. Go, go, go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping jack. Go. Woo, let me see you fly. Arms are nice and straight. Reach, reach. Last ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. Time to swap out our arm bands for our leg bands and keep on working. And we have our question of the day. The question of the day is, who is your number one hero? One person, your hero. Feel free to unmute and give answers. No one? No heroes? Okay. I guess we just won't do our leg workout. Okay, I'm seeing some answers coming in. All right. Let's see what we've got here in our chat. Chris says Aquaman, not surprised. Steve says John Doolittle. George says Jacqueline. Lane. Okay. I might be ignorant. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Chris also says John Doolittle. Do you know who Jacqueline oh. is? <laughs> no. I okay, don't. That, Jack Lane actually really was one of the original fitness pioneers. And oh my gosh. Yeah, and I mean, he had he had the original, um, you know, Jim's health spas. He had a deal on TV in the '60s. Um, he lived to be like 96. Uh, I saw a thing when when he was like 70. He would like tow 70 rowboats out in the water behind him. I mean, he did all he hit, when he was going to turn 90. His wife said, "You're not doing any more of those stunts, or I'm going to divorce you." Um, I'm going to have to Google this person. That yeah, is fantastic. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, really. <laughs> Quentin says Gabe. Bonnie Lazartel? I don't know who that is either. I feel so uncool. I don't know who any of these people are. I spelt your name wrong. You! Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, who's that? I don't know. Well, thanks. That's a first. Uh, you guys, that's awesome. I love that some of you named each other and me and now i know who jack lane is oh was so exciting all right leg bands are on steve sent me a wikipedia he sent all of us a wikipedia gabe says bonnie because she comes to so many workouts and works hard every time oh guys this is getting really sweet let's all just talk let's just skip the legs and say nice things about each other the whole time i think that's what we need today <laughs> You guys are all my heroes for coming and sticking with this um, and always answering the questions. That's really cool. I appreciate the engagement a lot. Um, in case I haven't told you lately, I'm so proud of you. And this is the most fun group to teach ever. All right, leg bands are on, grab those outer tubes, give them a hoist up, putting on the shorts. And we're gonna start with some leg circles to open up the hips. Reminder to get your cycle going if you have not already done so. So just starting to open up the legs side to side. I think 
Steve might be one of my heroes. Started this whole company, lest we not forget. <laughs> nice, open them up. Also getting some one-legged toothbrushing practice in while we're doing this. Yeah, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. So to start to get our calves pumping today, we have a combo calf strengthening and cardio boosting move. We're gonna do one minute of good old fashioned jump rope. So grab your rope. The goal is to keep your heels off the floor the whole time. And we're gonna jump for a whole minute. So let me tuck my device in so I don't lose it. All right, grab your jump rope on your mark. Get set, let's jump. Woo, yeah. Good. And just because we're jumping rope doesn't mean we can't move. You can jump rope forward. You can jump rope backwards. You can hop side to side. You can hop forwards and backwards. Play with your jumping rope, but don't let your heels touch the floor. Maybe even jump rope really low. Ooh, maybe you jump rope really high. Side to side. Last 20 seconds. Keep going. Get your heart rate up. Get your heels up. Jump rope the opposite direction. Swing that rope twice under each jump. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Next up, squat to squat kick. I go squat, squat, kick, opposite foot to opposite hand. Squat, squat, kick, squat, squat, kick. You got the idea, okay? So, 240 second sets. Get your butt as low as you can. Ready, set, we are going. Squat, squat, kick, squat, squat, kick. Now, this is a pretty safe move to do. So if you wanna add speed, by all means, you can go fast. Squat, squat, kick, squat, squat, kick. But I wanna see you keep sinking your butt down into that squat. Half done. Getting a little lower, a little lower each time. Opposite foot, opposite hand on that kick. Last 10. Let me see you do three or four more. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. Let's dive right into our next set. Ready, set, go. Squat, squat, kick, squat, squat, kick. Yes. After this, we're gonna take a sip of water because it's been a minute. Yeah, awesome. Woo! Jim, that kick was fire! Yes! Aha! Nice! Lily looks good, looks good, keep going. Last 10. Let me see three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab your water, kick it out, move around. All right, okay, so cardio boost, third set, starting with the sumo squat and reach. Now, if you don't quite feel like jumping, this is not a jumping day, but you want a little bit more, you can reach, lift, reach, lift, okay? So there's a kind of a midpoint between the jump and the regular move. Just giving us options, because why not? All right, on your mark, get set, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Woo! Yes, or just the reach. Or the reach and jump. Woo! Yeah, last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Arms up, butt kicks, go. Up, 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 up. Get those heels all the way up. Pump those elbows back, make it fast. Go, 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 go. Kind of feels like we're doing a dance move. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> Last 10. Then we're coming into jumping jacks in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jack. Slide on those toes. Nice straight arms. Work. Yes. Make it fast. Go. Go. Woo. -hoo. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep moving. Keep shaking. Don't sit down. All right. So we did a bear march with our arms. Now we're going to do a bear march with our legs. So coming back into bear position, this time we extend alternating leg back, 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 back. And as long as your butt doesn't go sticking up in the air, you can go as fast as you want. Kick, kick, kick. But if you start piking out on me, I'm going to call you on it, okay? So same thing. You can also do this on your knees. Kick, kick, kick. Otherwise, knees one inch off the mat. 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. Kick those legs back. Kick, kick, kick. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff. Now, at first, it starts out really easy. And then the thighs start to burn. And it gets hard. Check your butt. Drop your knees down. There you go. Nice. The Fian Sydney looks good. Mm-hmm. Like standing through the back heel. Everyone knees down one inch. All right, last 10. Body is stable. Shoulders are stable. Perfect. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Take them slightly wider than your hips. Press your butt back to your heels for a quick rest. And breathe. <sighs> All right, let's set ourselves up for our second set. Start to shift your weight forward. Bring your knees back under your hips. Tuck the toes, lift those knees up half an inch off the floor. We are marching, let's go. And the more you can keep your upper body stable from moving, the better. So let the legs do the work. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice, Lily. Yes, Diane. Completely flat spine. Beautiful. Clayton, you got it. I know by the end of the week, we start getting tired. We're doing a lot of hard work. You guys are doing great. Last 10. Woo! Use your arms. Use your core to help you find stability. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Nice. Hop on up to stand. It's time to get a heart rate back up. And after this, we'll take another sip of water, especially important that we stay hydrated on these cardio days because they're the days when we sweat the most and we want to replenish. All right, sumo squat reaches, set those feet wide, angle the toes out. 30 seconds, we're going. Down, up, down, up. Totally fine to add a knee, add a jump. Mm-hmm. All right, half done. Good, pressing the hips back, get even lower. Reach. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms up, butt kicks. Up, 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 up. Keep those elbows high. The cap stamp. <laughs> Woo! Half done. Get a little pep in your step. Up, up, up. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, elbows up, two, one, jumping jack. After this, we have a reverse lunge and another cardio boost and one more exercise. All right, half done. Give me some speed. I'm right here with you. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, grab water. Deep breath, let it slow down. Okay. Take a moment, pause, keep moving a little bit just to keep lactic acid from building up. Next up, we have reverse lunge twist. I take my hands behind my head. Now, I want you to remember, whatever foot you step back with, that's the direction you twist. I'm gonna demonstrate facing forward. Hands behind the head, I step my left foot back, twist to the left, center, step up, right, twist, center, up. So the twist and the lunge are actually two separate moves. I want to twist over to the side and come back through center before I step that foot up. Okay? So alternating side to side, make your way to the top of your mat or your workspace. Hands behind your head, grow nice and tall, press those elbows back. We've been practicing that with these arm, whatever you want to call these, I don't know, reverse punches. Hands behind the head. Ready, set, go. Step back. Twist, center, up, back. Twist, center, up. You've got that move. So we're working the spine, working the glutes, working the hamstring. Mm -hmm. Whichever foot you step back, that's the direction you twist. Gabe, opposite. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good. And as you twist, squeezing your hips and your glutes to keep your body stable, so you can twist even further. Woo! Amazing. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sophia and Sydney looks great. All right. That's it. That's the move. I don't really know how to make it much harder than that. Just keep doing the same thing over again. If you're comfortable adding speed, you can add speed here. On your mark, get set, roll with it. Actually, don't roll with it, twist with it. Much better. Amazing. Yes, and Gabe's doing a really great job. In his lunge, he's getting the back knee all the way down towards the floor. That's how you can make it more challenging. It's really working into the back leg, half done. I love watching everyone do it because everyone has their own little take or adjustment to the move sometimes, and we can all learn from each other. Last five, four, three, two, and one. John, those were great. Come on up, take it out. Last cardio boost of the day. Then we've got some mountain climbers, some balance, some core, and we're done. All right, sumo squat to reach. This is the last one we're doing. So if you're gonna jump, now is the time. Even if it's a baby jump, 30 seconds, let's go. Down, up, down, up. And if you're jumping, you don't have to go as fast. You're jumping. Give yourself that space to go a little bit slower. It's a hard move. Oh, I see jump. Yes, I love it. Half done. Keep breathing. That's the most important thing. We have nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms up, butt kicks up, 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 up. Now, you should be more comfortable with these. Move fast. Go, go, go. Get those elbows up. Yes. You can imagine that you're holding some weight. Pull them, pull them, pull them. Now, get your heel to your butt. There we go. Last 10. Work it faster. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jumping jacks. Go all out. Yes. It's Thursday. We're moving. 
We've got one more day of the week left. We're growing stronger together. Last 10, back as you can. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Water, yes, absolutely water. We're coming back down onto our hands for mountain climbers. Now, it's been a minute since we've done our mountain climber competition. So we're gonna revisit that today. We have 30 seconds of mountain climbers, 20 seconds of mountain climbers, and then 10 seconds of mountain climbers. I want you to count the number that you can do. So to count, it goes one, two, three, four. Okay, that's how we count them, each knee in. And once you do them, I want you to report back in the chat if you're comfortable with it about how many you've done. And it's not a competition with anyone except for yourself. So challenge yourself and see maybe if you can do as many in the 20 seconds that you did on the 30 seconds because your body's warmed up. All right, make your way down into plank position. 30 seconds on your mark, get set, go. Oh, fine. So is Gabe, oh my goodness. You guys are gonna launch over your heads off the net. I just see Jeff waving. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> I don't even email Jeff. <laughs> I haven't forgot. Good, last 10. Fast as you can go. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let me hear your number. Stop. Everybody stop. How many do we get? Uh, you get? 48. Uh, 48 or 38? I'm hearing numbers. How many, Bonnie? 42. 42. People are like, I can't. 75? Gabe, you're out of your mind. I love it. 64, 75, 42, 68. Awesome. I don't remember everyone's number personally from previous rounds, but I remember us being more in like the 30s and the 40s. So I don't remember anyone getting 75 at any point. So nice job. We're ready to like launch into outer space at this rate. All right, back down. Next set, 20 seconds. See if you can get close to the number that you did in your 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. George, that form is fantastic. Sophia, 68. Nice! Sophia, I want to see you get more than Gabe eventually. Last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Knees down. Where are we at? Mm -hmm. So 50. 50? In 20 seconds? Yes. That's amazing! Nice. <laughs> 49. Yeah. I'm chasing. 49. <laughs> so good. You guys are like, <gasps> yes, Bonnie got 40, Clinton 65, George 55, Sophia 63. So good. So good. Because when we do a second set, we're already fatigued from the first one. So to even get close to that number in less time, everyone pat on the back. Give yourself a big one. All right. We've got 10 more seconds. Okay. Last burst of cardio intensive work, and then we're going to come up and get nice and peaceful with some balance. 10 seconds on your mark, get set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your knees. I don't care how many you did. Just notice it as a personal benchmark. Come on up to stand, grab some water. Oh, Quentin's going to tell me, anyways. 40. Jeez, I remember when we were doing like 40 mountain climbers and we were doing 30 seconds. So hats off, Gabe 32. Awesome, awesome. Good, keep moving. Shake things out a bit. You can roll the shoulders out. That was a lot of upper body too, keeping things stable. 
Okay. So balance is actually some of my favorite part of our practice because we really get to work on not how well can we throw our bodies around and be crazy, but how well can we control what we've got. And when we can control our bodies, we're less apt to get injured no matter what stage of our fitness we're in. So this work may seem a little bit slower, a little bit easier per se, but it's just as important as everything else we do. So with that being said, rooting your feet into the floor, you can do it ever you want with your hands. Start to kick your right leg out to the right. So first come onto the big toes, the right foot, and then keeping the sides of your body even, lift that leg up and down. Up and down. Now this is all about control, squeezing the outer hip, using the obliques, and we don't want to slouch out on the left side. So keeping that left shoulder in line with the left hip. Up and down. We have six. We're doing 10 total. Five. Four. Nice. Three. Two. After the next one, lift and hold it. Keep it there. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Pulse it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Rest. Fatigue. <laughs> Let's do the other side. So stacking right, sorry, yeah, right shoulder over right hip. Come onto the big toe of the left foot. Full range of motion to start. We've got 10 lifts. Working those hips, the biggest muscle group in the body. Four. Five. We have that bowl of watermelon on our head from yesterday. Keep it stable. Seven, eight, nine, lift and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the hips a circle. Move around the other way. All right. So last little bit of our balance. I'm going to come on to the big toes of the right foot behind me. So we did some of this work with our single leg Romanian deadlift yesterday. Today I want you to kind of bend the front knee, hinge at the hips a little bit, but the only thing moving is this back leg. Kick, kick, up. Up, we have seven, six, of course we're gonna hold it, five, four, nice straight leg, three, two, lift and hold, 10 seconds. You can bend into the standing leg to get that back leg up higher, four, three, two, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Other leg, then we're coming down for core. Extend that left leg back, come onto your big toe, take a little bend in your right leg. Hand forward 10 times, up and down. And everyone, or most everyone, has a dominant foot, so it's gonna be easier for you to balance on one leg than the other, and that's just the way it is with body. Five, four, my other leg's my dominant, three, Two, lift and hold it. Ten, nine, eight. Extend that big toe away from you. Good. Five, four, three, two. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Make your way down to sit for our core. Our core, the center of all movement in the body. Three movements. First one, ins and out. My head stays lifted. Out, in, out, in. Next up, opposite hand to opposite foot. Tap, tap. And last up, we take the hands behind the head and we flutter a kick. 30 seconds each, starting with ins and outs. Everything's in 
And we take it out in three, two, no, I don't want five hours of work, one. Let's go, out, in, out, in. My whole spine stays rooted into the floor and my head ideally stays lifted. Keep moving. Nice. If your low back is starting to lift off the floor and arch, don't drop your legs as low. Take them a little bit up towards vertical. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes down to mat. Opposite hand to foot. Up, down, up, down. Every muscle of our core is working, upper and lower. And as you're doing it, try and get your whole spine off the floor. Up, down. Yes, last 10. Keep working through it. Quality over quantity for these. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last 30 seconds. Extend your legs forward, hands behind the head, flutter kick. Now, if I were to stick my hand under your back, I would not be able to get it underneath you. So I would try and there would be no space between your back and the floor. If there is space, lift your legs up higher, keeping your back glued down. So you have a paycheck underneath your back. Don't let me grab it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knees into the chest. Rock and roll up to sit and then come on up to stand. Can be one motion. Take those legs nice and wide. Both arms up. Both arms over to the right foot. Frame it, drop down. Let the head hang, let the upper body hang. All right, everybody back up. Over to the left. Good, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Everybody up, down through center. This is the last one. And if you want, you can rotate your fingertips backwards and walk your hands through your legs to get a deeper stretch. Ooh, let your head relax. Let your jaw relax. Four more breaths. 20 more seconds. Good, nice straight legs. And start to walk your hands through your legs. Reach your arms up. Bring your palms together. Give yourself a round of applause. Good job. Nice cardio, delicious Thursday. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, and we'll have some mobility and stretch work at the end of our workout. So good job. Thank and you. And I'll see everyone soon. Thank you. Welcome. Good to see everyone. You're all